Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I have another what's for dinner video for you. So these are all meals that I made using one rotisserie chicken. So I love to pick up a rotisserie chicken at the start of the week and then use it to make my first couple meals. Okay so this is in the morning and I'm cooking the rice and then I'm just gonna let this cool in the fridge and it kind of dries it out and get it gets it ready for the fried rice. And then now we're around dinner time and I'm gonna start off by dicing the onion. I'm gonna use half of it tonight and then save the other half for later. And then in my big Dutch oven, you could use a wok, that would probably be better, but I don't have one. I'm just heating up some sesame oil and then I'm gonna add that onion to it. And then I'm also gonna add some garlic. And now I'm gonna add two full cups of frozen mixed vegetables. The one that I'm using is carrots, green beans, peas, and corn, I think, but you can use whatever you have. Okay, so I cooked this on medium heat for about 10 minutes, and then I added in the rice. It was about four cups of rice. Okay, just giving it a really good mix here, and then I'm gonna add one cup of pulled rotisserie chicken. I like to keep my chicken fried rice pretty simple, so I just add soy sauce, sriracha sauce, salt, and pepper. You can add as much soy sauce and sriracha sauce as you like. Just kind of eyeball it and see what looks good to you. And the whole time I'm doing this, I'm mixing it a lot and making sure that it's getting thoroughly heated and thoroughly stir fried. And then I'm gonna beat up two eggs. So just using a fork, you beat them for a little while, like make sure that they're kind of fluffy and then add them to the pan. And then this is regular time. I didn't speed this up at all so you guys could see how I incorporate the egg into the rice. So I start by just frying it by itself on the side and then I slowly start mixing in the rice. Doing it this way just makes sure that there isn't a bunch of really large pieces of egg and it just kind of well distributes it and coats every piece of rice. Matt doesn't really like eggs that much so we definitely like it to be well incorporated. Okay and then just keep mixing it and stir frying it until your arm feels like it's going to fall off. Okay, so I plated this on two plates for us and then I just added a little bit more soy sauce, a little bit more sriracha, and a little bit more pepper on top. Okay, night two is chicken alfredo stuffed shells. So this is rotisserie chicken alfredo sauce, broccoli. These were so, so good. Matt really liked these as well, so they're definitely husband approved and I would assume kid approved. So I'm just using some regular shells. I'm gonna boil those first and then I'm gonna cut up my broccoli in the meantime. And I'll put the broccoli in a little container and I put some water in the bottom and I'm gonna microwave it for about four minutes in one minute intervals. And now I'm just adding a jar of Alfredo sauce, really simple, some already shredded Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna add that rotisserie chicken and then I'm gonna throw in a couple cloves of fresh garlic. And now I'm just adding some cream into the Alfredo sauce jar, shaking it up to get the rest of the Alfredo sauce out. And now I'm going to chop up the broccoli. Mm -hmm. 
you definitely need to cook the broccoli for a bit first and I just found that steaming it in the microwave was the easiest way. Okay, now I'm just giving this a really, really, really good mix and then I'm gonna shred up two different types of cheese. So I'm shredding mild white cheddar cheese and then extra old white cheddar cheese as well. The shells are done, so I'm gonna drain them and then I also rinse them with cold water so that they were easy to handle. And now I just put a little bit more cream in the bottom of the pan and then started stuffing all my shells with that mixture. Now I'm just gonna to top it with both of those cheeses. This is what it looked like before it went in the oven and it already looks so good. So I'm just putting it in the oven for 30 minutes on 350 and then pull it out. And here is the finished product. This one was definitely a hit. Okay, night three and the last of my rotisserie chicken, I'm gonna do chopped chicken Caesar wraps. So I'm gonna start off by cooking the bacon. I like to cook my bacon first before I cut it up. And then I'm gonna move on to chopping up all of my ingredients. So the key to this is to chop everything pretty small. So I'm gonna start with romaine lettuce. Now I'm gonna dice up that rotisserie chicken a little smaller than it already was. And I'm just adding some of that already shredded Parmesan cheese again. And then I like to put the bacon in the fridge for a bit to cool down before I add it to like a salad or something like that. So I'm gonna chop up that bacon. Okay, now I'm just cutting up some Caesar croutons into some smaller pieces and then make sure that you don't add like all of the breadcrumbs that this kind of makes, like just scoop out the top actual pieces of crouton. Okay, now I'm adding some salt, pepper, and some Caesar dressing. And I'm going to put a damp paper towel over my wraps and microwave that for 30 seconds. And then I'm adding some lemon juice as well to the salad mix. And I'm gonna mix that really, really well. I would start with less dressing and make sure it's thoroughly mixed before you decide to add more so you don't get like chunks of dressing. Okay, now I'm just distributing all of that Caesar mix to both the wraps and these wraps are definitely pretty full and they're kind of hard to wrap so I got Matt to film me actually wrapping it up so you got like kind of a close up so you could see what I was doing. Okay, just gonna cut them up and then here's a close up of what the wraps look like and that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I love posting what's for dinner so you'll definitely find more if you subscribe to my channel. Thanks.